Hey everyone. This is a indie game called Chestnut Grove. It's a COVID game. Not sure if it's horror, but let's check it out. December 19th, the virus began spreading across the globe. Within weeks, COVID 19 had affected nearly every country in the world. As the infection grew and death rose, many countries went into lockdown, urging people to stay at home. March 2020, back from Europe, I returned home to my partner Alex, along with others and companies that could just transition to work remotely. The rest were closed. Thomas lost her job for 27 days to get her house laid off. This is going a little too fast for me. One Sunday, May afternoon, I woke up, but Alex was gone. Oh, are you hungry yet? I am thinking of just having the leftover pasta from yesterday. But I'm so sick of pasta, me too. I have to leave. We can't take this uncertainty any longer. I'm sorry. Stay safe. Okay. Notice the residents hope they're all healthy. I thought I would pass along some info with toilet paper and short supply. Please don't flush toilet paper or tissues. Uh, cost serious damage to our plumbing. The city has asked garbage be sealed up in the garbage bag. Clear collection work with contamination. Door handles, elevators, buttons, laundry machines are being chloride six times a day. If you're voluntarily self isolated because of possible contact with a systematic person, please. Or have been told to quarantine because of symptoms, please let me know at this time. Nobody in, in either building has reported symptoms to me. If you can, leave your suite. Healthy residents in each building have offered the services to run errands. If you'd like to connect with one of these caring neighbors, text or call. We're procuring items such as groceries and hygienic products, coins for laundries. You can get behind the half. Stay healthy, everyone. I want to fall down. I don't know what that is over there. What's this, a two? Gaming setup. March 12, 2020, dear residents, with the present threat and potential spreading of COVID-19 virus, we are being extra careful and have implemented more frequent cleaning and disinfecting in the common areas of the building, especially this especially refers to the entrance doors, handles, or not elevator buttons and handrails. We're asking everyone to take care of and here to suggested precautions as advised by officials to keep them up to date with any new health requirements. Wash your hands, often the soap, 
in water for at least 20 seconds. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth or mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Consider no longer shaking hands and instead use another form of greeting and acknowledgement. Avoid traveling in crowded, in crowded areas as much as possible. If you have any concerns for your health, please do consult with your doctor. Please advise us as well. Somehow pull links for, for more information. Nice World Health Organization for more detailed information. If you have been traveling or in contact with anyone returning from traveling, Please self-quarantine for 14 days. Advise your billing manager that you and your, and your suite will be quarantined for that period of time. Thank you for your immediate cooperation. This is extremely important health and safety management. It's truly management. I remember them never taking the pandemic seriously. Oh, this is unboxing time. Dear neighbor, I'm 84 year old and usually I have my own son Jim help me with errands, but he works at the hospital and I don't want to pull him away from where he is needed. Would you be able to give me the following items on your next trip? I would reimburse you. I would of course reimburse you between one of milk, 12 eggs, one pack of butter, cheddar cheese, one loaf of bread, one jar of raspberry jam. Four rolls of toilet paper. On the TV, they say you should keep distance, so if you could leave them at the door and just knock three times, we can put the money in your mailbox. Please let me know your number. Thank you and stay safe. Hannah, apartment 210. I really don't have time for this. They say the Toronto others so people want to be too close to each other. I think we could officially kick the bucket. I think they've been quarantined the longest. Oh, I can hear him coughing. Someone's right. Forget how bad it was when COVID was around. for 14 days. I remember that. It's really illegal. Locked. So I'm not sure what this room is. I guess I need to enter the code. I know there's a tool I saw. numbers rent day is Thursday April 30th 2020 please ensure we have your check before 1 p.m. to avoid late fees dear residents despite the current COVID-19 crisis rent is still due and payable for if you're not being able to pay some of your rent, you must apply for the federal provisional assistance that is available. For information on the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, now available for information on the BC Emergency Benefit for Workers opening May 1st, please visit. These programs have all been set up to assist you in paying your rent. Stay safe, stay care. Thank you, management.
it. So I guess you need developers in Canada. Paper. Let's add a three. So two, three. Rent day is Tuesday, March thirty first. Please ensure we have your check before one PM to avoid late fees. And payable notwithstanding the crisis, rents are not frozen. So, if you're given a rent increase notice for April, May, or June, ignore it. If you already given us post dated checks that include an increase, please you write the checks. Or, if you wish, you may build up a credit balance. The federal and provincial governments have announced a support system for those whose income have been negatively affected. We understand the support is still not fully yet working, and that some residents have. Already experienced some income loss, so you should apply as soon as possible for complete information. If you are applying for the federal and provisional programs, so that eligibility seems to be determined through federal employment insurance application. Please refer to the manager. Yeah, I forgot <coughs> how bad it was. So, what is it? Two, three, four. Bar. It's a lady, I don't know who it is. Trash cans. It's my car. Two, three, four, eight. Is that what it is? Is that part two? Saw. Check out that door. I'll just throw the paper. It's 
No more to feel sad, stressed, or confused, scared, or angry during the crisis. Talk to people you trust, such as friends, family, or your fellow community members. Here, no song. Oh, I guess there's nothing in here. To the police. Coronavirus disease. Just another note, I guess, for Canada. Let's see if I can leave with this door. Outside uncertain but determined. The search will put Alex and everyone else at risk. Will I get infected? Will I infect others? December 2022. Over 6 million people have died. Many struggle to control this global pandemic. No one knows what to do. your day going let me know if i can help and toilet paper yeah. went to the bigger stores to do their panic buying if you heard that notification sorry about that let me turn this off who's that over there Toilet paper, bread, raspberry jam. Milk, eggs, cheddar cheese, and butter. See if I can read that note. Chestnut Grove will begin by Philip Grobar. I mean, 
That was a cool game. Now, if you watch this, thank you. Please give it a like. Subscribe. See you guys on the next one.